In this video, you'll learn how to blur a background on Zoom, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we produce weekly content for creators, educators, and marketers, all in an effort to help you master video so you can do anything. If that sounds like the kind of stuff you're into, then consider clicking that subscribe button now. Zoom users can now blur their background inside Zoom itself. The blurred background is another option rather than selecting a specific virtual background, and it can help mask an otherwise unbranded background, providing a level of privacy when your background is less than ideal. However, in order to use the blur effect in Zoom, your machine must meet the system requirements for virtual backgrounds without a green screen. I'll place a link below so you can review the Zoom virtual background system requirements for yourself. It's also important to include that the blur background feature is not currently supported on smartphones or tablets using the Zoom mobile app. One of the blur methods I'll show you in this video can also be used to blur your background on mobile. So watch this video until the end to fully comprehend your options. Now, inside Zoom, prior to joining a meeting, you'll be able to access your video settings by clicking up here on the gear icon. Then navigate to backgrounds and filters and simply clicking on the blur thumbnail here to activate your now blurry background. Doing it here allows you to join the meeting with your background intact. We can also get into this blur feature inside a Zoom meeting by clicking the arrow next to the video icon and selecting choose virtual background here then simply selecting the blur thumbnail to enable the blurred background. The background blur can be used with Zoom Studio effects as well as their virtual filters. Now this blurred background effect in my opinion is what I would call extreme blur. Yes, it's blurred, but it's almost too blurred that it looks too fake and doesn't reflect a shallow depth of field look commonly associated with DSLR cameras. So another option is to create your own blurred background to control the amount of blur effect. I have a full tutorial that walks you through each step of this process linked above. But basically, it involves snapping a shot of your current background with either your webcam or using your phone, then applying just the right amount of blur effect to that image inside Kapwing, which is an online image, video, and GIF editing platform. We then export that image out of Kapwing, download that image, and then upload that image as our virtual background inside Zoom, showing your actual background with the perfect touch of blur. You can also use your blurred virtual background on mobile devices that are compatible with virtual backgrounds while using the Zoom mobile app. Simply upload your image to your app, and now you have a blurred background on your mobile device. Now, as I mentioned before, you can also watch this video in full to see how I create the blurred virtual backgrounds using an image of your current background inside Kapwing. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus. Master video, do anything.